This cozy bookstore may not be as extravagant as those back home in the castle, but it serves its purposes to a village as small as that of the Isle of the Crown. This isn't the Crown's coat of arms. It must have been a gift, or maybe it holds some significance to the store's owner. The weary, lined face of Ali, the bookstore owner, smiles graciously as Graham looks his way. Ali looks very tired. He probably didn't sleep well last night because of the storm. Who needs a fireplace in this heat? Nice bookshop you have here. King Graham! What brings you to my humble corner of the aisle? For a small village, your bookshop is amazingly well stocked. You have quite a collection of literature here. Thank you, good sir. I take pride in offering fine books on many subjects to my customers. I am glad King Alexander was encouraging his subjects to read more. You may look at any book you like, King Graham. Perhaps the information may help you. Do you enjoy reading? I do, but my knowledge comes from life experiences. I see. There are some of us that stay and live in dreams, and others that make those dreams come true. One man's dream is another man's gold. Very true indeed. You must know my son well by now, good man. Why do you say so? If there's one thing that can be said about him, it's that he loves reading. Indeed. King Alexander spends hours here. He comes with Jollo from time to time, and they just sit and read. It's the kind of silence I enjoy. A little company's never bad. With so few people interested in reading, it does get lonely from time to time. I've learned to live with it by now, but your son's company is pleasant. Tell me, good man, what interested him most? Let me see. He often reads on the subject of magic. He was very interested in the occult. I had hoped his interest in that would have waned by now. He did live under that wizard's dominion for most of his life. But you'd think he'd hate it. He might be after a way to master it and make himself safe from what kept him a slave. He was also interested in history. He's read everything he can about the Green Isles, as well as other places. I gave him that advice. You can never know enough about the place you govern. And sometimes he would just pick up a poetry book and read it. Here's a secret. Sometimes he would copy one and take it to Cosima. A romantic as well. Very nice. He's a good man. I know. <laughs> He's very much like his mother. Let me do some research in your books. Be my guest. These books contain information on religion and philosophy, some of Alexander's favorite topics that he used to bring up again and again at the dinner table. Graham sees one book called Amazing Myths that catches his attention. Graham takes the book and reads through it. He finds an interesting story. These books contain fairy tales, Rosella's favorites, or at least they were when she was a little girl, even though she always seemed to ask the same questions. Why does the princess always have to be waiting in the tower for the prince to come rescue her? Why can't she just find the way out and battle the dragon herself? <sighs> Brave little Rosella. On her way to the altar and the handsome prince she herself had personally rescued, when that fiend stole the spark from her eyes. Graham takes the book and reads through it. He finds an interesting story.
Books on botany. Valenice would have been digging through this shelf as she is always researching new ways to care for her plants. Graham chooses a book called The Power of Nightshade. The books on this shelf are on marine life. Graham wishes he had more time to sit down and read through all these books. One of them catches Graham's attention, however, entitled Folklore of the Sea. Maybe there's time for just a quick tale after all. Graham takes the book, Folklore of the Sea, and reads through it. It's Jalo, the court jester of the royal family. He's enjoying his reading, or at least pretending to do so. Graham has no doubt the usual jolly fellow is just as worried about the situation of his king, and especially about Cosima, as anyone else. Good book? I don't know. I can't read. What are you doing, then? Trying to look smart. Don't listen to him, your majesty. He can read. <laughs> Gullible. What's the book about? It has taught me the great properties of how to properly land the proper hand. Say again? I've learned a lot. May I practice with you? Do you need a hand? <laughs> By the... your... your hand! Oh, <laughs> I see. Uh, you're lending me a hand. All right. Ah, you can keep that one. I have many others. Have you any idea what this mysterious illness the twins are suffering from could be? My guess would be chronic boredom. Boredom? Jalo, they're comatose. Boredom is a very serious illness, King Graham. If I'd spent the last 20 years of my life in Daventry, I'd be comatose too. Laughter, as they say, is the best medicine, and those two need a hearty helping of it. If it were as easy as that. Unfortunately, I'm just a clown, King Graham, not a miracle worker. Goodbye, my friend. Oh! Please don't go! What's wrong? Please don't abandon me! Cholo, quit it. <laughs> well, bye, Your Majesty. I'm searching for ingredients for a spell to bring my children back. Bell? This is druid magic, yes? Yes. Do you think it will work? The druids are very powerful creatures. Very little is known about their nature, but I can assure you their magic does work. I've read some interesting volumes, and they speak of highly uncommon yet powerful magic. I realize this is not going to be an easy task. Do you have any idea where I could find any of these ingredients? The druids have their own language of sorts, which is difficult to understand, even for an avid reader like myself. Many of these ingredients are very unusual, and some of them may be druidic names for common things. Parts even look encrypted. It's hard to say. Lost magic bag. I just read a book on treasures from the sea, and I did come across references to such a thing. Where can I find it? 
Bring me a map of the lands, and I shall point it to you. I must warn you, though, it's where the nymphs gather, and these creatures are said to be dangerous. I'll take my chances. I apologize for not being able to help you further, but feel free to look for information in my library. You may find some answers there. And do not hesitate to ask if you have any more specific questions I may be able to help with. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind.